Good evening. My life today for July 22nd. The reading is entitled, Visiting One Another. The scripture reading is taken from Malachi 3, verses 16 and 17. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord, and that thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them, as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. We have an individual accountability to God, an individual work which no one can do for us. It is to make the world better by precept, personal effort, and example. While we should cultivate sociability, let it not be merely for amusement, but for a purpose. There are souls to save. Our intercourse with others should be characterized by sobriety and heavenly mindedness. Our conversation should be upon heavenly things. What is more worthy to engross the mind than the plan of redemption? It is a subject that is exhaustless. The love of Jesus, the salvation offered to fallen man through his infinite love, holiness of heart, the precious saving truth for these last days, the grace of Jesus Christ, these are subjects which may animate the soul and cause the pure in heart to feel that joy that the disciples felt when Jesus came and walked with them as they traveled toward Emmaus. He who has centered his affections upon Christ will relish this kind of hallowed association and will gather divine strength by such intercourse. When the truth of God is an abiding principle in the heart, it will be like a living spring. Attempts may be made to repress it, but it will gush forth in another place. It is there and cannot be headed off. The truth in the heart is a wellspring of life. It refreshes the weary, restrains the vile thought and utterance, and makes all flourishing. Their happiness will be in Jesus and his love. Thank you for listening. God bless you.